My name is Bridget O'Carroll. We are doing a Bala workout today. So I'm demoing with our power ring today. Nice little 10 pounder. So if you've got something a little heavier at home, maybe a textbook, a couple of wine bottles, whatever, get creative. And then I'm also going to be using my Bala sliders. Okay, so if you don't have sliders, no worries. I'll get some variations. You can also grab socks if you're on a hardwood floor, and I would recommend it if you want to amp the workout up a little bit, or you can do paper plates on carpet, get creative. And finally, the classic, I'm going to wear my ball of bangles on my ankles over here. If it is your first couple of times, sometimes I recommend starting out with them on your wrists. So you're not feeling anything in your hips and your hip flexors, but I'm very form focused. So I will speak to that in class. All right, 1230 now. We'll give everyone like a minute more before we get started. Okay, I am very used to doing this face to face on my Zoom. So I have some of my Zoom team up on my computer as well. But moving together, people, please let me know how you're feeling. We've already done one workout of the day. Are we feeling nervous? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling tired? Are we ready to go? Let me know so I know there's other people on the other side of this camera I've got going on. All right, and we'll get started in just a second here. Got all my BBB people up. So many of you coming on today. I guess we're loving this 1230 time slot. Nice and rested. Oh my God, Anna, you're here. So good. All right, we're ready to go. We're pumped to love it. Okay, excited. I will say this workout, BBB, Body by Bridget, is slow and controlled. We add in a couple of cardio bursts, but it is supposed to be intense. You're supposed to get uncomfortable. We're trying to lean into the discomfort. The whole methodology, the science behind it, is we're leaning into our slow twitch muscles which means we have the slow controlled movement and try to maintain that over time so that we can get our body to failure. So you're gonna feel shaky, you're gonna feel uncomfortable, that's okay. But nice and quick, we're gonna do about 28 minutes today. So we're ready to go. Yes, yeah, so excited for this power ring, just started using it and it's so good. All right, guys, let's do this. Grab your sliders, your socks, whatever, and we're gonna press out into a plank position right away. If you're not using sliders or socks, paper plates at home, whatever, that's okay. I'll give you some variations. Just press out uh, for your plank, holding up our body, getting ready to go today. Notice how I have this mat down in the front of my space. I like to keep it here for my wrists to get a little bit more comfortable. Okay, but I'm keeping it in front of me so I have space to slide behind me. Again, no worries if you're just gonna do mat work today. I'm gonna give you two different options. Another 10 seconds, I know that sweat droplets are probably starting to come. Eight seconds, we've got it there. So our legs slide in or you step in, you got six. Five more, it's four, you got three. It's two, it's one, find your bear, slide for four, slide three, slide two, hover one, press back out for four, for three, for two, for one. I always count you down to the next move and then I give you that countdown to remind you how slow to go. If you're not using sliders today, no worries. You step in, you step in, you step out left, out right, okay? Those are your options, either you're stepping in or you're sliding. Stay with me, team. In slow, out slow. If your wrists are bothering you, actively press into every single fingertip, okay? Your entire palm is pressing down. And if it's still too much, 
drop it to your elbows, okay? It's gonna feel a little bit different. I generally just stay on my hand from my demo so I can see you guys, so I can see the chat, so I can see some of your faces on Zoom. In slow, out slow, hold that long. Six, find your plank, five, four more, and three. It's two, it's one. Team, I swear, we are not planking for 28 minutes, okay? This is temporary. Tuck your tailbone here, squeeze your belly button in toward your spine. Shoulders rock back for two in your saw. Breathe back for two in your saw, okay? Back two, breathe back two again, no sliders, no problem. Find your plank, point it, flex it. Rocking it out, pointing and flexing. Moving super slow. Uh, you guys, I like to create more of a studio style experience. So I like everyone moving in unison. That is what I'm doing with all these countdowns. There are no breaks scheduled into class. So when you need it, you take a breath. Maybe you pause for a second, ask yourself if you really need it or if you just want it. Okay, and you take your breath, you take a sip of water, you get back in. We're comboing those last two moves in 10 more seconds. Okay, one saw, one bear, nine. You guys already know the variations if you're not sliding, six, five more, and four, three, two, it's one. Find your bear for four, for three, for two, for one. Press it out, for four, for three, for two, for one. Saw back, for two. Breathe back for two, slide it back in. You guys are crushing this. Again, we are not holding our whole bodies up for forever. I swear I'm gonna get you lying down after this. I know I'm already shaking over here. I hope you are feeling the same. Just pay attention to your form. Watch your hips especially, okay? None of this, none of this sagging, none of this piking up. Hips right in line with your shoulders, okay? One more move. Ah, uh, up on our hands, okay? 10 more seconds. Meet me on your elbows, everyone. Six, five more, and four, three, two. Drop it down to your elbows. Hold right here, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your belly button in toward your spine. It's hand, hand, elbow, elbow, okay? Six, five more, and four. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Three, two, walk it up. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Alternate which side is coming up, is walking down every single time, okay? Notice how my hips are tick-tocking a little bit too much. I'm gonna widen my stance and try to really stabilize my lower body so my core gets a little bit more work working to stabilize myself. We lie down, just like I promised, 10, nine, eight seconds. Your weight is there by six. Five more and four, three, two, it's one. Okay, nice job, guys. That was tough, I know. This whole workout is designed to be tough, it's designed so you shouldn't be able to do quite the entire thing, that's okay. Lie down on your back, okay? Before we grab our weight, I want you set up here. Send your belly button down towards the ground. Tilt your pelvis forward. Your pelvis is honestly the most important thing in this move. From there, press your palms, your forearms down into the ground, and then lift your legs. So they have this nice 90 degree angle. We're not done like this. We're not straight. We're right at 90, okay? Press, press, press into the ground. Point your toes. Send both your legs down as you tilt your pelvis forward. Five, four more. My count, it's three, it's two, it's one. Send it down for four, for three, for two, for one. Back up for four, for three, for two, for one. Listen to your body here, okay? We're all about form over ego. It's not about touching your toes down to the ground. Like I said, it's about your pelvis. It's about your pelvis tilting forward. So the second your low back comes up, it means you've gone too far. It means you should press your palms down a little bit deeper into the ground, feeling your upper core activate as you press. And the second your low back wants to come up, that's your range, okay? Maybe it's just halfway down and all the way back up. If this is too much ever, just go one foot at the time, okay? Taking a little bit of that weight off, but still maintaining the activation in your lower core, okay? That is what matters. Uh, I said we are targeting our slow twitch muscles, which means we want to maintain activation, maintain engagement over time. We grab our weight in 10. You got nine, upside down tabletop, you're dead bug. Six, five more and four, 
three, two. It's one. Okay, find this upside down tabletop weight or no weight, textbook, wine bottle, whatever. Okay, I've got my power ring going over here. Bend your elbows. You've got this slight micro bend. Tuck your tailbone, pelvis tilts forward. Send your knees out two inches. Keep your shins parallel with the ceiling so they're not falling down. And now send your arms back with the bend in your elbows. Palms are facing each other. You got five. Four more. Stay with me. It's three. It's two. It's one. Send it back for four. For three. For two. It's one. Three stack. For four. For three. For two. For one. Nice team. Because I'm using something a little bit heavier, a really nice variation that I like is planting my legs down. Okay, and then moving from there. Back slow. Three stacks slow. Keep going, team. It's all you. You guys are crushing this. Keep going, sending it back slowly. Coming back forward. Nice. You guys look amazing. We've got a bunch of you with your videos up on Zoom. Yes, Al. Is that Sam doing it with you? Oh my God. Nice, Molly. Her day off being a frontline worker, she's just getting this in. <laughs> nice team, keep going. Just because I'm stopping to look at you guys doesn't mean it's a time to break. Keep going here. Ah, uh, race back and hold. Maybe your legs are, are up, maybe they're down five at the top. Four, three, two, hold at the top, okay? Now pivot your ring or your wrist forward, okay? See the difference there? Instead of my palms facing in, my palms are now facing towards my feet. Okay, tuck your tailbone again, bend your elbows, and now send your arms back four. You got three, it's two. It's one, reset for four. You got three, it's two. It's one, you're gonna feel a little bit different. Uh, we're feeling our upper core activate as we send our arms back behind us, but we're also getting a little upper arm workout at the same time. Hold your arms back, six, five more and four. We're gonna hold your arms back, palms are facing up, okay? Tuck your tailbone, now send your legs out straight, four, three, two, it's one, hold right here. Hold it, bend back in and four. Three, two, it's one, bend, four. Slow three, slow two, reset all the way, one. Keep going, that full range, send it out long. Take a little pause if you can, reset it. Okay, you've got options here, you've always got options. The closer you are to the ground with your legs, the harder this is going to be. The closer towards the ceiling, the more supported you will feel. So take the option that feels uncomfortable, something that you feel like you can't quite do, but allows you to maintain your form. That forward tilt of the pelvis, I know I'm shaking over here, that's our slow twitch muscles. Once you start shaking, that means your muscle fibers are literally breaking down. That's gonna force them to rebuild tomorrow. That is how we create change. It's never a comfortable team. Hold it out, six, five more, you got four. Three, two, one, hold it out, everything I'm centered to, out to. In two, out two, arms and legs come in five to your dead buck, five, four more, you got three, two, center four, three, two, it's one, out four, three, two, it's one, so good, team, in slow, out slow, let that feel good, we sit up in 10, you got nine, keep your weight, six, five more and four, three, two, Go ahead and sit up, roll your shoulders down away from you. Keep a nice long line from the top of your head down towards your tailbone. Okay, feet can either be floating or you can plant them down for a little more support. If your hips are bothering you, cross your ankles. Now twist left, slow, four, three, two, it's one. Twist right, four, three, two, it's one. I'm just like shaking, dying over here. And I have this little puppy that's like, just like staring at me, falling asleep, like right next to the camera. <laughs> Twist low, nice team, so good. Twisting left, twisting right. We're just working our way through this. If this is ever too much, you just drop your weight. You can plant your legs down, okay? 
You can also just hold it here if you need a little more support. You can press your palms and just hold it, maintaining activation in your core. You've always got options, team, okay? If you're getting like 20% of this workout in, then you are doing it absolutely right. Twist slow. Twist slow. <laughs> nice, team. Hold to the center in six. Five more in four. Three, two, hold to the center, okay? Send your legs out long as you lean back for three, two. It's one. If this is too much, bring your arms out in front of us. This is actually going to work as a counterbalance, which will help us get up. Okay, you've always got options, team. Otherwise, you can bring. <laughs> we got more puppy stair hands over there. Love it. And slow. Out slow. So weight can either be on your chest or out in front of you. Uh, love all the puppies of BBB. I'm posting them all the time and you guys send them to me so keep them coming uh out slow and slow so good uh, we're getting into a bridge pose okay we're getting out of our core that's not all we're doing we're getting into a bridge pose getting our lower body six five more in four three two it's one go ahead and lie down okay your feet are slightly wider than your hips as are your knees and then press your legs up okay press your hips up you're driving through your heels option to amp this up with your power ring with your textbook whatever arms are long behind you it's kind of why i like this ring because it really stays there you don't have to hold it maintaining that form slowly lower down for three two hover one press back up four three two squeeze your butt cheeks at the top one nice team uh so i've got my team dialed in as well but a lot of you don't know me so again my name is bridget o'carroll i founded body by bridget back in april i used to teach at solid core and slt but when Mega former was no longer an option. When quarantine, the pandemic hit, I started doing Zoom classes like many other instructors did. And we grew from there. I uh, would love to have you guys for another class if you're ever interested. I'm gonna post a free link for all of my moving together people out there after class. So look out for that chat, hold of the top six. Five more and four, through two, squeeze at the top, squeeze your butt cheeks together, okay, as hard as they can, and now squeeze your glutes, release them, squeeze it, release it. Sometimes I cue this as a pulse, pulsing up one, down one, but I want you connecting to your muscle, okay, actively squeezing through your glutes, actively squeezing mind into muscle, squeeze at the top, six, Five more, it's four. Three, two, hold at the top, squeeze right there. Knees go out two, and two. Nice, out two, and two. So good, hold it out, six. Five more, it's four. Three, two, hold it out. Okay, now knees go out one more inch, hips up an inch, knees in one, down one. Knees out, hips up, knees in, hips down, out, up. Build your square in down feeling the activation through your center glute as your hips to go up and down and this outer booty as your knees go out and in okay really getting targeted into the muscle groups that we are working uh, out up and down so good ha uh, ha uh, hang on to this we stand up for some inner thigh squats, okay, six, five more, and four, option to keep your weight, three, two, it's one. Go ahead and stand up, option to keep your weight, go wide with your legs, and now turn your toes out. Weight can be at your chest if you're using one, and now slowly lower down to your inner thigh squat, right here. Uh, stacked shoulders on top of hips. Nice. So Nick, sit up a little bit more. Really stack it. Nice. That's perfect. Look at that flexibility. Nice stack. Down one. Up one. Nicely. Down one. Up one. Yes, Ali. Us. 
with our matching sage power rings. Love it. Down one, up one. Nice. Anna, hold it down. Six, five more and four. Three, two, hold it down. Okay, I'm gonna shift over so you can see me from a different angle. Now lift one heel. I'm lifting my left heel. Drop it. Lift your other heel. Drop it. If this is ever too much, you drop your weight. Okay, otherwise, let's get a little bit lower. Nice, Molly. Nice, Will. Uh, okay, both heels lift in six. If you got it, five more. Okay, you got four. Three, two, get down low. Lift your heels, come up to your toes. Down one, up one, drop your heels slow. Down one, up one, lift your toes. Down one, up one. If you're feeling wobbly right now, that's because we're moving our stabilizer muscles. Our inner thighs are there for stabilization. They're tiny little slices of bacon inside your legs right now. Okay, they're pretty easy to get to failure. So once you feel shaky, wobbly, that means you're doing it exactly right, okay? Uh, so good. If you're using a weight, keep it close to your body, okay? Protecting your back. So good. Meet me on your toes if you've got it. Six. I'm going to get onto my mat. Five. Four more. And three, two. Come up to your toes. Guys, I don't know if you can see, but I'm like wobbling like crazy over here. Puppy is just like sleeping it off. Down one. Up one. Down one. Up one. Hold it down. Six. Five more. And four. Three, two. If this is ever too much, just drop your heels. Twist left for four, for three, for two, for one. Twist right, four, three, two. It's when you don't need to feel anything in your upper body. You don't need to wait for this, okay? We're shifting our weight, which is firing up our stabilizer muscles, trying to keep our stable. Uh, heels drop, find the center, six, five more and four. Three, two, heels drop, find the center. Down two, up two, uh, full range, six. Five more, Elena. Yes, four more and three, two. Down slow, up four. Sharon, three. It's two. At the top, one. Back down again. So good. Up slow. Down slow. Hang on to it. Keep going, team. You look amazing. Up slow. It's down slow. Uh, stay with me. Uh, okay, guys, we're grabbing our side. There are 10 more seconds. Option to keep your weight if you want it. Six, five more and four, three, two. I'm moving my mat out of the way. I know a lot of us are working with pretty small spaces and apartments, as am I. So I'm moving my mat out of the way. And we're going to get started on our right foot. If you're using a weight, it's at your chest. Otherwise, your hands are at your chest, on your hips, or a wall or chair nearby. Sit back and down as you lean forward. Okay, this is different from a lunge we would do at the gym when you're usually sitting up straight because we are sliding here. Okay, I want your spine nice and long. I'll give you a variation if you're not using a slider today, that's okay too. But if you are using a slider, take your back foot, point your tippy toe behind you and drive through your right heel, wiggle your right toes, get down a little bit deeper and hinge forward as you stand in four, you got three, it's two, it's one, stand for four, stand three, stand two, maintain a bend at the top one, back down nice and slow, okay? If you're not using a slider today, find your lunge, you're actually gonna sit up straight for this one, you drop it down tap for your split squat, pick it back up. So that's your variation if you're not sliding today, that's totally cool. Uh, the no slider, you're gonna feel your quad a little bit more, with the slider, you're gonna feel your booty a little bit more, okay? If you're using a slider, pointing that back toe, leaning forward. And we're not coming up all the way. We're maintaining a bend at the top because like I said, we are working our slow twitch muscles, which means we want to maintain, build upon that engagement over time. Uh, once we lock out, we lose that tension. We have to start from scratch again. That is why we maintain that bend through this entire range of motion. Meet me at the bottom, six. Five more, Morgan, you got three, two, it's one, hold to the bottom right here, okay? If you're using a weight or you're just using your body weight, if you're using your body weight, frame your shin. Otherwise, you can grab your weight directly in front of your shin, come up two inches, bring your shoulders out for four, for three, for two, for one, still leaning forward. Now bend down deep, four, three, two, it's one, sending your booty back and up. Again, you can do this weight, you can do this no weight. 
little deadlift lunge variation, feeling our thighs area, okay, right under our butt cheek. Uh, hands go to your heart. We're finishing off this leg. Six, five more, and four. Three, two, hands go to your heart. Get down first. My count, slow. Four, three, Eliza, two, it's one, stand for four. For three, for two, for one. We're almost out of this leg, okay? Switch out your legs in six. We're out of it, five. Four more in three, two, switch out your legs. Nice job, team. Our other leg is now active. Left leg is forward. Hands are either at your chest, on your hips, or a wall or chair nearby. Sit back and down to 90. Let me scooch back so you can see my full body a little bit more. Guys, I'm a little out of breath over here. Don't mind me, okay? Shoulders are down away from your ears. Hands are either at your heart. You can put them on your hips or a wall or chair nearby. Now take your back toe, point it, okay? All of your weight forward is in your right, in your left heel. I'm mirroring you. This is the part of class where my brain gets a little funky, okay? Because I am working right there with you. Start to stand in five, four more, and three, two, stand for four. For three, for two, maintain the bend. Keep leaning forward, nice, Molly. Down four, down three, down two, down one. If you're not sliding today, you guys, you know the deal. You're meeting me at the bottom of the lunge. Think of a little bit more straight, tapping your back leg, bringing it back up as we slide up and down. Okay, down slow. Up so always have options for your team. Down slow and hold. It's six, five more, it's four. You got three, it's two, it's one. Hold at the bottom, okay? Now either frame your shin or if you have this weight, grab it directly in front of your shin. Come up like two inches, lean forward for four. Deadlift variation, three, two, it's one. Bring these back and up, all of your weight is forward than your heel, up four. Nicely, three, two, Eliza, one, forward, four. It's three, two, it's one. Keep going, team, moving up and down, so good. You guys are absolutely crushing this. We are so damn close to getting out of class right now. Ah, uh, so good, hands go to your heart in six. Five more and four, three, two, hands go to your heart. Sit back and down all the way, full range here to finish off this lower body, down slow for four, for three, for two, for one, up slow, four, for three, for two, for one. Uh, okay guys, so we've got this quickie workout today. We've done a lot of core. We've done a lot of lower body. To finish off, we are going to be doing some more core work, focusing on our obliques. We are not doing anything directly for our upper body, but we have been working it through holding on to this weight, through some of that core work that we did with the weight above our head in the beginning. So you may be feeling some triceps soreness tomorrow as well. Drop your weight, okay? 10 seconds, option to grab both your sliders. Six, five more, four, three, two, it's one, okay? Grab your sliders if you're using them today. Either way, you're pressing out to your pike position. Widen out your stance, okay? So your feet are just as wide as your hand, about the width of your shoulders. Now slowly drag in for your wide-legged bear. Four, three, two, it's one. Press out four, three, two, it's one. If you're not sliding, you're stepping left, you're stepping right, staying wide, okay? Same deal. Uh, with this wider stance, we're feeling more of our side body. Ha, uh, getting into our obliques. Ah, uh, hold it long, six. Five more and four. Three, two, hold that long. Okay, take your left foot, your left knee, into your right elbow, switch it. Okay, it's like a really slow mountain climber. Slider, no slider, same deal. Pressing it onto your toe if you're not using a slider. Uh, remember, you can take your elbows, if your wrists are bothering you. Uh, otherwise, you're pressing through all 10 fingers, pressing through your palms. So good. Uh, legs go out long, six, five more, and four. Three, two legs are out long. Go wide, go narrow, go wide, go narrow, sliding it, feeling our lower core, okay, and our side bodies. Uh, team, we're so close to getting out of here. One more move to finish. You got mountain climbers. Either you're running it out or you're sliding six. I want you crossing at five. Four more. I'm going to do no sliders in three, two. We're running it out. Our knee is going in 
to our opposite elbow. We've got this for another 10 seconds. Okay, you got nine, eight seconds. You got six, you're out of here in five, four more, three, two, it's one. So damn strong team. Okay, for my Zoom people, we'll do a quick stretch in a minute here. We'll just close out on the Moving Together event. You guys, you absolutely crushed it. Um, I'm adding in this link in a minute for your free class. Okay, before we do that, let me know how you're feeling. You just got 30 more minutes of some high intensity work. So write in the chat how you're feeling right now, how that went. I know the first couple classes, you always have to start like getting used to these weird positions that I'm putting you in. Okay, so there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, but you did awesome, okay? Ah, uh, adding that code into the chat. Check that up. Thanks, guys. Ha. Uh, so good. Feeling amazing, it looks like. Out of breath, me too. Even with very little cardio, ah, uh, you really feel it. Amazing. Got some shakes. Yeah, a lot of core work. You guys did awesome. Yes, wrists definitely get used to it. Thank you guys. Uh, okay, my Zoom team at home, go ahead and press back into your child's pose if you're joining me for the stretch today. I'm shaking too, guys. Yeah, that was a lot. No matter how much you work out, this workout is always a little bit different. See, so doing bar five times a week, yes, it's still going to feel different. It's still going to feel intense. Ah, uh, so good. Shoulders are feeling things. Even though we didn't do any specific upper body work, you're definitely still going to be sore there. Furniture moving things. Yes. Oh my God. Those actually do work really well for sliders. The little things you put under your couch so you can move it more easily. Love it. Getting creative. I will pass it on to the next instructor for the Moving Together event and get to our stretch on Zoom. But you guys absolutely crush it. Thank you for having me. Again, my name is Bridget O'Carroll and I added that link in there again so you can join me again. Bye guys.